Hello everybody on the internet. I'm going to teach you how to install Hail 2 on XUbuntu. Should work on any Ubuntu variant. Um, the only prerequisite to this tutorial you should have is um, you should have your graphics drivers installed. That's different for everybody, whether you have NVIDIA or AMD or whatever. I'm going to assume you have that installed, but other than that we can begin. Um, first thing you'll want to do is download the latest wine staging. So open up your web browser, Google search, uh, wine download. Should be the first link. Pick Ubuntu. And you're going to be opening up a terminal and copying and pasting a bunch of lines. Uh, copy and paste this line into the terminal. Put in your super user password for some of these. Copy and paste these lines, that line, and whatever line corresponds to your Ubuntu version. In my case, it's 18.04. Copy and paste that line. So apt update. And you're going to want to pick the staging branch here. So copy and paste the line for the staging branch. Hit yes. Wait for that to download. You'll also want to Google search Lutris and click the download button here. And also start downloading Project Cartographer. On the download now button and uh full game installer plus mod you want to save that okay once wine finishes installing you want to install wine tricks so sudo apt install wine tricks hit yes and once that's done you'll want to start wine tricks let's type in wine tricks It'll pop up this window, and a bunch of other windows will pop up for installing things. Install all of them. Install all of them. Because these are dependencies for certain things, and um, one just does not like to be happy without them. So, yeah. I think it's about like three or four things that pop up. Okay, once this window pops up, you'll want to uh, just close the window out and go to Lutris Downloads page and copy and paste a bunch of lines again to the terminal. So basically these five lines for Ubuntu. Next thing you'll want to do is make a Halo 2 game folder, or a wine prefix, more accurately. What you'll need to do is, since Lutris, by default, likes to put its game's prefixes in a folder called Games under your home, go to your home directory, create a folder named Games with a capital G, and inside that folder, create a folder called Halo 2. Okay. Close out of that. And then start Lutris. What you'll want to do is under Wine, click this down arrow. And you should be good if you pick a Wine version 4.0 or above. I think 4.0 implemented a fix for gamepads that makes gamepad work well with Halo 2 and a few other games. At the time I figured this out, I had Wine version 4.2, so click TKG 4.2, this little box right here, and wait for it to finish on this right side. Okay, once that's done, you'll want to add a game with this plus mark, name it Halo 2, Game Options, Wine Prefix. 
go to the games folder and then your game folder select that folder make sure prefix architecture is 32-bit that's important make sure it's 32-bit go to runner options uh, what I like to do because the game tends to like minimize randomly for some reason if you don't do this go to windowed virtual desktop and select your desktops resolution this is a virtual machine so it's not really showing 1920 by 1080 for some reason but pick your native uh, for the purposes of this tutorial I'll just pick uh, 1440 by 900 whatever um, go to system options you don't really have to do anything here save right click Halo 2 open line tricks and once this window comes up immediately close it because for some reason the wine tricks that comes with Lutris bugs out with some of the dependencies that we have to install for Halo 2. I do not know why. It's kind of dumb. So what you do instead is type in wine prefix in all caps equals forward slash home slash your username slash games slash Halo 2 whatever you named your game folder then type space wine tricks and use it that way. For some reason, you have to do this. It's kind of dumb. Then select default line prefix. It should already be selected. Click OK. This is a question asking if you want to send error reports or whatever. Answer. Uh, go to install Windows DLL component. And you're going to be selecting a lot here. What you'll need is everything related to DirectX 9, D3, DX9. So select all these. Okay. What you also need is .NET 452. You'll need what else? MFC 40, MFC 42. I don't know if these are necessary, but this is why I had selected when I had mine working. So they may be extra. I don't know. Uh, whatever you do, you do not select MF. All the other tutorials on how to get Halo 2 working on Linux out there on the freaking internet say to select this. Don't select this. It's been causing me a lot more problems than helping out. Uh, what else will you need? You will need... VC run 2013. Again, that might be extra. I don't know if that's required. Uh, you'll need w WMP10. And I think that's all you need. Yeah, uh, hit OK. Now bring up a bunch of Windows setup thingies. Just go through all of them. And you'll also get a bunch of error messages. You can pretty much ignore them. Like I said, some error messages. You can pretty much ignore most of them. Now, when we get to the Windows Media Player installer, there's some weird little workaround you have to do. But most of them, you can just keep hitting OK. Jesus Christ, this is taking a year. Well, I should probably take this time to explain a few things that are kind of little nitpicks certain things that don't work um, first off the um, textures in the game flicker a lot kind of like the Intel integrated graphics used to a while back um, I don't really know how to fix that you can minimize the flickering with turning in-game settings to low but yeah that's kind of a bad thing about this also for whatever reason like the intro videos or the um the credits don't play uh i mean most people mash a to get past that anyway so ain't really a big deal um the only issue i think that would really matter to some people is um if you use uh, if you use stuff like a uh, blue trainer or like a super bounce trainer i don't really know how to get those working with running hail 2 like anything that you know, modifies Halo 2 in any way. So, 
that's a problem. It's probably something stupid easy. I just haven't really bothered to try to figure that out. Okay, now that we're getting to Windows Media Player 10, there's something special you have to do here. You go through like normally until you get up to a point. And uh, when we get to that point, I'll tell you what to do. Click next. Next, finish. And you'll see this window close out of this window, but you'll have to open another terminal and type in top. And then you should control C to keep things from jumping around afterward. And you should see WM player plus, and then you should see a process ID with that. You'll want that number. So, um, uh, let me control C here. Uh, this number right here, copy, open another terminal window, kill, and type in kill, and then that number. And then hit enter. And then you can close this terminal, and then close that terminal, and then you can proceed. So hit yes here, yes. And then you can continue or you should be done and when you're done verify everything installed so go to back to install Windows DLL component okay all the DirectX 9 stuff installed um, .NET 452 is installed these two are installed VC run 2013 is installed and WMP 10 are installed good now go ahead and close out of this completely right click Halo 2 go to wine configuration you can you know, ignore that just and select this and go back to Windows 7 hit OK now you can close out of this terminal right click Halo 2 run exe inside wine prefix and um, you should have instruct go ahead and extract HTPC installer if you haven't already and go to HTPC setup click next scroll down accept next 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 Click next, unselect, run Halo 2 to log in and play, click finish, then right click Halo 2, go to configure, go to game options, executable, go to your games folder, Halo 2, drive C, games, Halo 2 project cartographer, then uh, Halo2.exe, save. Let's cross our fingers. I don't know if this will actually work in a virtual machine, but we'll give it a shot. We'll click play and hopefully things should just automatically work. Of course, you'll get this message. Click run anyway. Of course, it won't work in the VM, but it should work for you. So, hope that uh, helps you guys out. If I got something wrong, let me know. Peace.